Richard. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. Well, folks, we are so excited because we got a leg up on We're, you today. A couple of legs up. Oh my gosh. Oh, those, those are, amazing. are amazing. We are doing <gasps> one of the most incredible dishes of all time. Yes. We are doing our classic, classic chipino. Yay. And you may be Chapino. saying, what in the world is classic chipino? <laughs> well, we're going to show you. It is so delicious. It is what it is. It's it was originated originated in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. It is an Italian seafood stew that is just through the roof delicious. Packed if you've full ever been of to, seafood. Yeah, and if oh. you've ever been to San Francisco, you got to go uh, try it. But even so. better, you can now make it at home. Yes. We're going to show you how to do it. And we didn't want to bring all the fish out because we wanted to keep it cold, but we wanted to give you a little teaser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> These have already been steamed. We'll get to the fish here in just a moment. Yes. But we got to build a nice stock first, yes. a nice base to put all this fish Good in. Good stock. And this is one of those dishes that you may have seen it on a menu and you may have had it at a restaurant and you think, wow, this is really fancy. I could never do that. It's surprisingly easy. It is. So we're going to do it. <laughs> Believe right. me. <laughs> Believe me. So, all right, we're going to get started. So we've got a nice, now what I would really recommend because it's a stew and we got, we got to have something big enough to hold these big old crab legs. Yes. So I would use a nice sized vessel. If you've got a big old Dutch oven, that works perfectly. Yeah. But something that will work beautifully that will hold all so of this, all I of this stuff. I even wait for this. So we're just going to start off and I've got, this is, um, two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter that I have okay. melted over over medium heat and then I added two cups of chopped onion and that's a half a cup of celery and then we've got some delicious uh, garlic that's been diced that's four, uh, four cloves four and then cloves. I've got some beautiful red pepper bell peppers. Now, <laughs> you can use all red, you can use all yellow or all green, but you know, we like We like the colors of the rainbow. We do. We love the <laughs> colors of the world. So, we are going to do all three a of mix them. of all three. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, you can often find these already chopped up that you Which is so great. It's a so great. lovely thing. And then I've got a quarter cup of freshly char charped I can't talk today. I'm so excited. <laughs> chopped parsley. Okay. So now what we're going to... I love chopped parsley. It's, it's just sharpened... Chopped parsley. It's sharp and delicious. I'll tell you that. Okay. So that now we're going to... That gorgeous already. Just wait. We're I just getting started. Move. Okay. Yes. So now what we're going to do... Now, while this is simmering, this is going to take about eight minutes. They, you know, you want to cook them down until they're nice and translucent. Um, but we're also going to add... This is a tomato-based stew, which we love. Um, and so we love... You know how we always talk about our San Marzano talk... Uh, San Marzano tomatoes. tomatoes. So tacos. The, that's another story. <laughs> Fish tacos, yes. But no, this is stew. So what would what we really like to do is we we want to break them up because when you get them in the can, they're whole and they're they're immediately canned at the height of their freshness. So yes. canned San Marzano. They're from the base of Mount Vesuvius. Um, anyway, in Italy. <laughs> but what is really good is if you. Break them apart with your hands. There's some Which is old. What I'm going to do right now. You're going to do that right now. There's some old wives' tale in Italy, and I believe it because I, who am I to say it's not true? <laughs> that hand. I just squirted at me. Hand, you know, <laughs> crushed is better than some machine crushing. It. It's oh, just going to taste That's better. right. The energy of your, of your aura. Aura goes into the tomatoes. He has a very tomatoes. He has a very energetic aura. <laughs> so anyway, so that's good. While this cooks, he's going to do that. And, and this is gonna... fun to get your hands dirty. <laughs> yeah, so well, if you have any kids, this is a lot of fun. So anyway, we're going to let that. <laughs> just uh, make sure so... their hands are clean. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to let that cook down and then we're going to add some other ingredients and then we're going to keep yeah. building this part. And I'm going to sit here and squish. How's oh, it going? Oh my gosh, it smells, already smells absolutely heavenly. Those they're getting translucent. They're very translucent. So these have cooked down now for about seven to eight minutes. You've got your I've tomatoes, got my squished tomatoes. Crushed tomatoes <laughs> by hand. Um, so in the, and you're going to include the juice from the can. So that this is a 28-ounce can. So um, San Marzano, make sure they're certified. That's right. Yeah, that is true. Make, don't, oh. make sure it says certified when On you're getting can. to San Marzano. If you can't, if you have no access to San Marzano tomatoes, you can use just good old, you know, whole tomatoes. You can even oh, use, as long these, as they're good and ripe. They just smell so good. I know. Make sure you, you can use um, Roma tomatoes. That's good. But canned is really, can, canned tomatoes are one of those things that I think are even better than, you know, unless you're in the summertime and you've got the most delicious, ripest, most incredible delicious, ripest. Yes. But canned, when, you can get really good quality. Okay. So now we, now you guys think that this, 
is looking good. Just wait. <laughs> Just you wait. Just you wait. Henry okay, Higgins. so now we've got a cup of really good white wine. Uh, we're just, I think you got us. Remember, dry white wine. Remember, if you can't drink and then drink it, then don't use it. That's right. Go with whatever you're going to want to drink. So, this is <laughs> two cups of clam juice. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's very easily found at most supermarkets. It's yeah. usually where like the canned tuna and things are yeah. like that. It's canned, yes. a bottled clam juice. We're two, very clammy today. Two bottles of eight ounce clam juice. And now we're got- is, The weather outside it actually is kind of clammy. <laughs> well, okay, so now I'm going to do the juice of two lemons. This lemon is really wanting to hang out in here. But anyway, that's the juice of two lemons. You know how I feel about my- uh, Citrus, it's so delicious. And I love that juicer. I do too. Okay, and so now this is what really is going to bring this thing to life. This is the we're using dry, all the way down in there. We're using some dried herbs, Just and this is um, dried oregano, dried basil, and dried thyme leaves. And then we've got some red pepper flakes for just a little bit of kick, and then some salt. You get the exact ingredients on how to feed a lemon. Yay! But anyway, and this is one of those kind of dishes where you know that we cook a lot with fr fresh herbs. Sometimes dried herbs pack just a little more of a punch, and when this stew, it just works perfectly. And then we're going to use the, you know, everyone's favorite, bay leaves. The bay leaves. Okay, so now this is smelling unbelievable. So what this is going to do is we're going to bring this to a simmer. So what you're, what you're basically creating with this is a beautiful base, a beautiful stock. And this needs to really concentrate those fl flavors. So we're going to let this simmer for an hour which is the hardest part of this. Yeah, because the house smells Because the oh, house amazing. smells so good. And then when, you, when we come back, we're gonna have all our fish ready to go. Oh. And the fish, because it's fish, it cooks very quickly. It's yes. not like a, you know, all rack, day of, affair. A rack of lamb or something <laughs> right. where you, know, you have to like <laughs> wait. So anyway, it's gonna come together very quickly. Woohoo! Oh, okay, folks, Lord, so this, I good. mean, the smell is just ridiculous. So as you can see, this <laughs> has... We had smell a vision you guys I know, you'd die. be so happy. So this <laughs> has been now cooking for about an hour. That white wine, the alcohol cooked out, it's just made for this delicious base. And um, it's, it's, it's concentrated, so it's ready for some it's fish. It's ready for some fish. So let's talk fish, shall we? All right. Okay, so. Let's start off with these bad boys. So we got a plethora of fish in our seafood stew. Yes. So the, we've got some mussels. And Boy, clams. Do we have mussels. We have mussels um, and clams. Some mussels and clams, and it's very important <laughs> when you get <laughs> mussels and clams that you wash them. There is some with the mussels. There's a little fuzzy thing that's on the, on the out, edge of it. The edge of it. It's called a it's beard. beard. <laughs> and um, you know, a lot of times when you get these from your fish market, your monger will already have them cleaned for you. But, but it's just, always a good idea to right. run these over cold water for about five minutes. Get a little scrubber and just make sure they're scrubbed. And also, it's really important too because if these are if these are cultivated from the sea, um, then they're, they're going to be a little gr gritty. So you so want to you really get that sand out sand of there out by there. letting that water run. But most places now that you get them, they've already been cleaned, and sometimes they're even not even cultivated from sure. the ocean. They're just Can natural. Can we move on to the next? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> now we've got some beautiful shrimp. Get ever whatever large shrimp you These love. Are some big old jumbo this, shrimps. That was some big old shrimp that my uh, fishmonger had from Key West, Florida. Obviously, that's not available to everyone, so get whatever you f your favorite they're large so shrimp is. They're so good. Okay, now and we've these, got, these are scallops. These are like sea the scallops. butter of the sea. They're so delicious. They're so beautiful. Now, what's really now in San Francisco, which is where this dish originated, they're going to be using bay scallops. Yes. And bay scallops are much smaller, and I love bay scallops. I do too. But they're because they have to be transported all over the place. They're harder to find. I couldn't find any. Right. So just these larger sea scallops are still just as beautiful. Just, and just delicious. As and then, as if that weren't enough, we're using a nice white kind of cod. firm fish. Yeah. And that's um, cod. cod. You can also use halibut. Uh, you could use uh, swordfish. Anything that's kind of got a fleshy white oh, meat to it. Why don't you use just for the halibut? Just for the halibut, you could do it. Just for <laughs> and the halibut. And then you saw these do. lovely Alaskan king crabs. But the king crab, the crabs, um, and... King crab Supposedly legs. someone yelled at us because you didn't use king crabs and so king we crab use snow crab you can use snow crab but I, mean, you know, but I guess a, I guess a classic Chipino is uh, use king, king crab, crab legs. So anyway, so now these so are we're doing be, it classic style. <laughs> that's what the way we roll. Yeah. So anyway, so these like I said, this is fish, so it does not take long to cook at all. Yeah. It's literally 
going to only take about seven minutes, and we're going to put these beautiful clams. Start sticking those things put in these there. Clams, thanks for the um, <laughs> the clams and the mussels are going to go right in, and then we're going to add everything else. And if you've ever cooked with clams and sh and mussels, it's really kind of cool because as they cook, as they heat, they start to. I mean, this is the thing that these when you get these from the fish market, they're alive. Yes. Um, and then as you put them in the hot you know, moisture, um, they're going to open up their can their clams and they're going to say, come eat me. If they don't open up their clams, <laughs> you don't want to eat them. You want to discard them. Yeah, you should hear it. The, the You know, it's everybody's singing, come eat Those me. Those don't here. go in yet. Thank oh, you. when do these go in? After these have cooked. Oh, so in. these kind of do a steam job. Yeah. Oh. I mean, look at this. So you think this is a <gasps> seafood stew or what? Holy moly. So that is pretty amazing. So anyway, we're, what we're going to do is we are going to let this now cook. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to let these steam for only about seven minutes. And then we're going to eat it. Well, we're going to put those oh, in. Oh, you're right. Gonna right. And then we're going to eat it. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, you guys. It smells amazing do in I here. Do I look like a clam uh, or a crab? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a crab. you look like a crab. So folks, this has been simmering for just literally eight minutes. We got the crab legs and then we put them in um, after simmered for about seven minutes just nestled them down into oh. just they're already steamed so we just let them kind of just warm up, warmed up with everything else and folks this is done this is truly one of the most beautiful oh. dishes that we've ever done in the how to feed a loon yes. kitchen yes. i think yes and um, are we ready for the big reveal yes reveal oh, oh my gosh lord I mean, you set that at your uh, table I and like i've said i mean if <sighs> If you're not, if you just hate seafood, then you're probably not gonna like seafood stew. But if you kind of like it, folks, this is the real deal. So what do you? I'm gonna. We need to serve I'm this. I'm speechless. I know. I am speechless this in San Francisco. This is so good. Okay. Oh, here, make some room. And so we're gonna put that right over there. Right. And this is so. This was one of those dishes that it's really popular in the holidays. It's, I mean, imagine setting this down. Oh, on, look at those big things. I'm gonna avoid that because it'll look. You don't yeah. want to see me eating a crab leg. Well, it, it, it gets messy, we'll say that. Um, but anyway, it's wonderful Woo! on like New Year's Eve or, or Christmas oh. Eve or whatever, a special family gathering because it feeds so many, it feeds a lot Look of people. It is just festive, obviously. Look oh, at this. Man. Let me give you just a little quick, uh, oh, as I, he's I've got to get a couple of these. dishing this out. So yes. this originated, as we said, in San Francisco from Irish immigrants that were working on the boats and working on the bay, you know, getting all of the fish for the local San Francisco area. Yes, and at I the end even. of the day, they would have, they have, there's such incredible bounty of fish in, and, uh, in the San Francisco area. So they would have crab legs, they would have shrimp, they'd have all of this left over. And so they started making this amazing Italian stew. Uh, and not, wasn't too, this was back in the 1800s. It wasn't too long before the restaurants picked up on it, but they started putting it on their menus, and the rest is history. Yes, the rest is history, and that's gonna be history in a second. This, <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you, this is amazing. So I you really wanna eat a crab leg, or right a king crab leg, but you I can't. will. I and will. we love, this is delicious when served Look with nicely that. toasted bread. Now, I'm gonna take, yeah, we did a little toasted bread. I'm gonna take my time, because I've got a lot of things that I gotta taste. Okay, all right. Especially this broth. Oh. The broth. I'm salivating. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. I know. It's amazing. Oh, and look at that. I so that broth, it, like we said, the stock cooked for about an hour. So that really helped intensify those flavors. Yes. It's so perfect. And then they absorb oh. the juice and the, everything yes. from from the shellfish. And yes, and I've got a little uh, clam here I'm gonna eat. Yes. Oh, there we go. Did, Did I mention, you if you have any clams or mussels that didn't open up, discard them. And he gave me this little clam eater thing yeah, yeah. to help me out, get it out. Okay. Well, oh. we'd rather this this video not be over an hour long, so. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I'm sorry, I just gotta get a bit of everything, Chris. It's best served with a spoon or a fork or both. <laughs> I'm using both. <laughs> yeah. And is it? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, he's, I'm not he's telling you yet. everything. There's mm. a number of, of, of mm. ingredients in this stew. Mmm. Mmm. The cod. Oh. Mmm. Oh, the hunt. Mmm. The what? The hunt? Shrimp. The shrimp. I know. Oh. I know. Oh, my God. Oh. Mmm. 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 All right. Now. Okay. Now. Oh. Sorry, people. This is amazing. This, I know the dog's whining because he wants some. She wants some. 
Um, this is 100,000% Luna approved. <laughs> okay, Sorry. well, thank you. The stew takes like seconds for him to get to the point of saying that is forever. I, where, I but, need some more stew in here. Mm -hmm. Oh. I know, so folks, oh. be sure to go to um, all of our social media, media like us. You can find this oh. recipe on howtofeedaloon.com. Oh. And um, just, I, okay, I gotta yeah. have some. Yeah, you can, uh, oh, you just, I just you told, just told everybody. I'm just in like this seafood bliss right now. Oh, my stars. Mm. Mm. It's mm. so, warms the heart, warms the heart. Oh, and I left my heart in San Francisco. I know, it's perfect at the winter time, it's perfect on the, in summertime when you're sitting on the it's dock of the bay. It's 100 degrees here today, but we're enjoying it. Sitting on the dock <laughs> of the bay, having a good old time. So make this dish, you guys, mm. and don't overcook your fish. Don't overcook don't your fish. Don't overcook your All fish. Right, we've taken up too much of your time. Bye. Oh, bye. Yay. Mm. Hey, everybody. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. And to get more amazing seafood recipes mm. like this, just swim on over here and click this button. <laughs> yeah, click, click, click or click, subscribe. Click. Yeah. Boop, boop. <laughs>